In this video we're going to talk about Composer. This is a great easy web authoring system. They call it a WSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Page editor. It uh, actually is is very cool and uh, really it, it'll it'll take its place of front page. Front page is being phased out as many of you have known and found out. Some hosts are not even supporting it anymore. Of course, Adobe Dreamweaver and other high programs. I'm not saying that this is a replacement for those, but for free and ease of use, I highly suggest it. And what we'll start now, I'm not going to go through all the features here. Uh, you can go to, it's called Composer, K O M P O Z E R dot net. Again, that's dot net. You can always go to the search engines, Google, and type in Composer and find the site. So you'll come in at home, and what you'll do is go to the download page. And now uh, you have a few options here. And download this button here will download the recent stable version. I suggest you go ahead and go with the stable version unless you're into uh, beta and testing things. You can always go down to the latest development version and download for your machine and your language. And I'll, real quickly, I'll go over here. You've got 21 supported language packs too, so it makes it pretty cool. And what we'll do is we'll download and I'm not going to go through the installation process here. It's a standard, just like other programs and let's let me go ahead and get it installed and we'll pick up from there okay I've downloaded it to my computer and unzipped it and you'll notice that it's not a installed program so to speak where it installs something on your computer it's basically wherever you choose to unzip it and really I guess I should suggest that you create a folder on your C drive D drive or whatever maybe call it composer and put it in there and then once you do that, you unzip it to that area. You can actually, so you can make it easy to find. And this will vary from Windows version to Windows version, but it's basically the same. You will right click and you can pin to start menu, which that means when you do that, when you actually go to your Windows start menu, you'll have a shortcut in there like a normal program that's installed. Okay, and another thing you can do if you want to add it to your desktop, you can create a shortcut and you'll see the shortcut there and drag it over to your desktop that's pretty much all there is to that we'll not get any deeper into that and let's go ahead and start it up and go through the initial setup okay we've got uh, composer open now as you'll see when you first open it it's going to pop up and you're going to have the site manager visible like this. Uh, at this point we're not going to cover the site manager and to be frankly honest with you it's very difficult to use and I prefer using FTP but uh, we will go over it quickly in one of the videos. So right now I'm going to go ahead and close it and what I want to do is this since this is the first time that I'm using it I want to go to my tools I want to go to options and let's just go through a few things here. Um, we're going to leave everything here pretty much the same right now okay you can read more about it later on and decide your settings but uh, just want to go ahead and show you real quick these okay uh, go ahead and click that save images and other associated files on saving pages you, know, you just go ahead and click it now uh, makes sense right you want to save all that okay your fonts what you can do is is you can set your your defaults here and I will leave these as they are you can play around and and decide what you want there okay new page settings what you can do is when you get ready to build a new page you can go ahead and, and uh, what you do is you, you can put your, uh, your your company name or you know like um, your personal name it doesn't really matter whatever you want to put in there but I would go ahead now if you've got something you want custom colors for the page and something that you like to use all of the time you can set this here okay and that will be the standard 
the reader's default, what I would do is, is I would leave it at this because when you open pages that actually have already have their own color set, that would override with custom colors. So go ahead and leave that. And the same background image, uh, I would leave that. And your language, okay? Uh, of course, let's see here. I will choose this one. And writing directions. I mean, this is not uh, necessary that you actually set this, but, you know, why not? Okay, and just leave this at default here. Let's go to advanced. And you can choose here on your language, HTML4 or XHTML1, traditional or strict. I'm going to leave it at 4 and strict. You can choose traditional if you want or strict. doesn't make any difference. You can read up on that if you don't understand that. I'm not going to cover connections. Accessing the Internet that is not what we want to do at this point. And underline misspelled words. You can check that if you want. What it does is if you type and you make a mistake, it'll underline it. And special characters. I'm not going to cover that at this point either. That's a little for advanced. And all we're doing is editing pages, so I wouldn't worry about that now. Okay, just doing okay. Okay, that concludes with the video on getting Composer set up. And we'll get started, you know, doing some basics in the next video.